Welcome to Pavitra Laptop Care. Today I am going to tell you a normal IC in special manner. So what is that IC? It's step down IC. Which number? Just you check. It's a TPS 51225 step down IC. What it is? It's a dual synchronous step down controller with 5 volts and 3.3 volts LDO. Here is the pin configuration of this particular IC. See, here it's a enable 1 one 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 here it's a second cs1 and cs2 two okay and here two 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 means here it has two channels so one is for 3.3 volts and other one is for 5 volts so just you can observe these three ic's so here three ic in one moment it will be different so that's the reason here three ic has given Okay, I will explain one by one what are the IC will work and how it will work. So here is the introduction, the pin configuration. Just you observe. So nothing has to do. Just you observe. It has two channel. Keep it in your mind. How it works? Follow the steps. First step is find out the input supply pins. See here, number one. It's a VBST one and VBST two because it's a two channel so that's why it's a VBST1 first channel second one is VBST2 it's a second channel these are input sections next switch 1 switch 2 pin number 8 and 18 next V in it's a supply for this IC next pin number 20 and 6 it's a enable 1 and enable 2 here it's a 5 it's a feedback 1 and feedback 2 Next is VO1. This also input. It's from the output. Here is the input. Okay, now let us segregate with minimum and maximum voltages. See here the input supply operating voltages. The number one V in. The V in pin operates the minimum voltage 5.5 to maximum 24. Here is the VBST1 and VBST2 will operate minus 0.1 volts to 30 volts. Here VBST1 and VBST2 again it has given because there are three ICs. The one IC will be different function is for different function that later I will tell you which one. See it's a 0.1 to maximum 5.5. It's actually C, C version of this particular IC. Next, switch 1 and switch 2, the minimum voltage is minus 5.5 and maximum is 24 volts. Here is the enable 1 and 2, it's a minus 0 0.1 and maximum is 5.5 volts. Here you need to check all the pin configuration and minimum and the maximum voltage. If you give some more voltage than particular maximum voltage, then this IC particular pin or IC may get burn. Here VB, VFB feedback 1 and feedback 2, maximum is 3.5 and VO1, it's a 5.5, it's a 5 volts output from output to input. Okay now, the same thing we'll do for output pins also. Second step, find out the output supply pins. What are those? See here number 1, high drive 1 and high drive 2. Number 2, low drive 1 and low drive 2. Number 3, clock and power code. Number 4, channel select 1, channel select 2, VRH 3. It's a number 4. Diesel are output. Just we saw in input voltage sections, so our input pin sections, what are the minimum and what are the maximum here also the same thing the output pins contains the minimum and maximum voltage operating voltage here high drive it's a maximum 30 volts low drive it's a maximum 5.5 and p good and all other v ridge 5 are 5.5 it's a cs1 channel 1 and channel 2 are maximum 3.5 volts okay now we know the input and output pins now the third step what are the meanings of particular pin? See here, it's a channel 1. Set the channel 1 OCL or current limit trip level. Same, same thing for channel 2. It's a high drive 1, high drive side output. Same for channel 2. Low drive 1, 
low side drive output such channel 2 it's enable 1 same thing for 2 now it's a power good power good output flag open drain output actually p good is a open drain output pull up to external rail via a register switch 1 switch node connection same for channel 2 here vbst1 supply input for high side mosfet bootstrap terminal connect capacitor from this pin to switch terminal same as for channel 2 now the clock the clock output for charge pump it's a feedback 1 voltage feedback input same for second channel v in power conversion voltage input apply the same voltage as drain voltage of high side mosfets of channel 1 and channel 2 if you give the v in supply it will apply for channel 1 and channel 2 it's a vo1 output voltage input 5 volts input for switch over v reg 3 3.3 volts ldo output v reg 5 5 volts ldo output fourth step just observe the table what you saw in this it's a table skip mode operation tps 51225 bc all three ic's skip mode operations see for 25 ic it's auto skip for b it's a double oa for c it's auto skip same it's a table 2 it's for enable and power go state it's only for two ic's previously i told i will tell you next time i mean later so that is the one it's a ic number 25 and b only for b and 25 this table will applicable what is that if enable is off enable 2 also off we results 5 also off then we reg 3 will be on all will be off when enable 1 comes then v reg 5 will on then 3 will be on and channel 1 will be on channel 2 will be off and clock will be generated see here 3.3 volts will be off condition channel 1 off uh, sorry on v reg 4 5 and 3 will be on clock also on when enable 1 is off and enable 2 is on then 5 3 channel 2 this will be on when enable 1 and enable 2 all will be on so then it's a 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 and 7 all will be on finally check in schematics 1 3 2 6 9 it's iphone 1 dell 3 5 4 see this is a schematic what you saw in this then see here here is the order how voltage will generate see number 1 is a ground and v in number 2 v reg 3 anything is there number 2 no first v reg 3 will generate in number 3 v reg 5 clock channel 1 enable 1 feedback 1 vo 1 drive low drive 1 switch 1 high drive 1 bst 1 all first channel will be enable next in fourth all second channel will be enable this is the working function of this particular ic and this is the order now it is very useful to you and it's very easy i think so i hope so are you happy then subscribe my channel like it and press the bell button thank you